hello and welcome back. So I wanted to do a little review of the INH or Extra Inches Wavy Extensions. So I remember I mentioned these a couple of vlogs ago and I've been using them pretty consistently and I just wanted to do a little mini tutorial. This is like the most everyday version of them. This is not going to be a full on glam. This is this is for the everyday. You're in a pinch. You just need a little bit more oomph to your hair. This this is what this video is. So if you want to do hair that's easy on the go for your busy lifestyle, this is the video. Just going ahead and getting into it. Obviously this is what the packaging looks like that it comes in. You get your little tester piece here. Make sure the color matches. I have this shade Mixed Brown, which is a hair lighter than my natural hair is, but it blends really well. Honestly, nobody ever knows that I have them in when I'm out and about. Um, there's, I believe there's seven pieces in here and the absolute best part is because obviously I have very fine hair. So if you ever, if you're also a very fine hair girly, this is, this is for you, but obviously build to the density of your hair. So if you have more dense hair, use more pieces. But for me, this is literally the one weft I use. I just use the four clip weft. It's, it's the widest one in the set. And this is all I put in my hair. I can normally pop on my hair for the day. We're done in less than 10 minutes, 110%. So I'm just gonna take our hair down for right now. So I'll show you how I would pop it in for just like a low pony and then how I would do it for a higher pony too. So we'll just start here. My hair is still pretty clean. It's just air dried. This is the natural texture of my hair. It's kind of like random wavy curly. The underneath here gets a lot more curly than the top does. <clears throat> but I literally will kind of just will shake it all out. It's gonna do its thing. I've been in the gym and it's been up ever since. So I normally part a piece like right here and kind of just make a wide U parting. And then I'll just pull everything else up that's not in that. And then I'll literally just tie that away quickly. So then we just have a little bit of our hair left down. And we'll go in with that four clip left. I know that you can tease your hair if you wanted to. I'm not a big teaser fan. So I kind of just, I'll go in like a little circular motion and put the clip in and it holds well. Same thing, just make a little tiny circle, pop that clip, same thing here. Just make a little circular motion, pop that down. Same thing on this side. Just making sure that you're getting it along that separation line of your parting. Otherwise, it doesn't hold as well. So just putting that clip in right there. And then that's just what it looks like from the back. So you just have this slight U shape. It's not as deep as it seems when you make that parting. And then we'll go ahead and then put the hair down like this. Depending on how I want to part my hair. So we'll just, let's just see what, for the purpose of just seeing because I don't like to do too harsh of a part my hair's freshly washed So theoretically, if I was in a pinch, that would be literally it. And then maybe pull some little pieces around my ears just for, you know, a little extra touch of something. But as you can see, the pony from before is just so much more full and it blends in so well. You know, I'll get close. It just blends in so well with the natural texture of my hair. And honestly, like I said, nobody ever knows I have a row of extensions in and they go in and out just as fast. So 
and I'll take this down and I'll show you if I wanted a higher pony. That is what is so great about these is it's so quick and easy to do whatever you want to do. And since they're pre-styled, it just stays like this. So I can let my hair air dry and then I'm good. Pop these in and then the, the two textures kind of just blend together well because it holds that nice wave. And then as far as four, I actually still make that same wide U parting even when I'm doing a higher pony. Let's pop that in. The only difference is when you're doing a lower pony, you place these clips in downwards like this. But when you're doing a high pony, you're gonna flip it around toward the bottom of the clip here. You're gonna go ahead and make sure that it goes into the hair in an upwards direction. So when you flip it, all of these, this row of extensions, will go upwards with the rest of the bottom of your hair so it lies more flat to your scalp versus popping it among down and then flipping the hair up, you're gonna have a bump. So this way just makes it more seamless to your hair. Same thing, I'll just go in that circular direction and clip it in. Now that's in. Now we can just do it however you want, however messy you want. I'm feeling the messy look right now. And kind of just grab your hair all the way up. And then some of these little pieces down here. Especially during summer when it's hot and you don't really want to mess with your hair too much. It just adds such a nice even length fullness because you know if you have fine hair it kind of gets to that little piece at the bottom and it's your hair is long but it's like it's also this it's also this thick at the end. So this just adds a nice fullness throughout the length of your hair and your pony and once again you can tell just the the texture of my natural random waves and it just blends so seamlessly with the actual extensions in there and it's just it's so user friendly like this was this is real time so i was able to do both that low pony and the high and i did them super messy so obviously if you want to take a little bit more effort do like a more of like an updo or a bun or kind of style the front pieces differently there's just a lot of options but the base of how you apply it is so simple and like I said, just build up and add more wefts with the density of your hair. More dense hair, you might need all the wefts. Or if you want a little bit more fullness here on the sides, go ahead and add those two clip wefts, which I'll show you. So this is just the diameter of the two clip weft with still that really nice pre-styled look. And I want to say that they've been holding up really well through just me using them. I probably use this set because I have a couple sets of different lengths and different um, textures, if you will, that I switch between. And I've been using this one pretty consistently ever since I showed it in that video. And they're, they're showing no signs of wear. Mind you, I do brush them before I use them each time just to kind of prevent any tangling. But I really am impressed considering the fact that this is the only extension set that I've ever owned that aren't real hair and it just blends so nicely with my natural hair. So I just wanted to pop in here and show you that because I think that a lot of times people are under this conception that extensions have to be hard and you have to do so much styling and take so much time and as you can see right there you really don't have to. So if you are in the market for a pair of extensions that are going to break the bank I highly recommend those. Once again, I have the shade Mixed Brown, but they have a ton of different shades in there to choose from and different textures. So if your hair is not wavy and it's just straight, obviously they have those too. But that is literally it. I was just really excited to show you that in real time because it doesn't have to take 45 plus minutes to do your hair. It can take literally less than five. But that is 
too. So if you have any questions about anything that I didn't mention about these extensions, feel free to ask in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I shall see you for my next video.